The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, let's get this show on the road. We're going to take a look at the German DAX here. As you can see here, this is a four-hour chart going back to late March. A beautiful three-drive to a top pattern. You can see the time between the first high, the middle high, and the third high all right in perfect that makes it a perfect ABCD had a nice little correction coming down from the 78 percent level and we're going to see if it's going to hold up here at this not so we'll be able to see what's that just remember folks tomorrow is the most famous day in all of Arizona and that is you're one day away from Cinco de Mayo today and believe me this used to be a rock and roll place being right on the Mexican border but by golly there won't be much going on right now they're having specials that they'll deliver the margarita is uh, to your house if you want but uh, fortunately we don't uh, we don't partake in that libation but we'll see what's going on here now um, let's just get on to the next one which is the footsie uh, we want to congratulate uh, mr. Boris Johnson on the arrival of his new uh, offspring his little son and he named it uh, after his uh, doctors which is nice the good things his doctors weren't named Carol Sally and Louise otherwise he would have a Problem like Johnny Cash had, a girl named Sue, but he's going to do okay. Anyway, you see this pretty much the same pattern here in the FTSE, but it's also much weaker. You could see it could barely make, you know, the 50% uh, level from way back in March, and it only made a 61% uh, retracement from the high that it made in uh, early March. So those are just a few things that we're watching here to see uh, what's going on. By the way, that is that that Corona beer here. Uh, my neighbor, uh, Fred, he, he I go to uh, Costco for him. And he wanted to buy some beer, and uh, he just said buy the Costco beer, and they were out of Costco beer. So uh, Corona, which is a premium beer, was selling at a huge discount, and the young man there told me, he says, we can't give this stuff away. Evidently, the, the thought of the coronavirus and the corona beer were uh, interlinked forever, but we'll see what's going on here. Okay, folks, the main thing that happened uh, last week, of course, was the fact that we made that 61% retracement in the S&P 500 up there. Uh, we also made a perfect 78% retracement in the NASDAQ, uh, just absolutely spot on. It couldn't have been any better. I'll get this up here so you folks can uh, hopefully we'll take a look at it here. Yes, sir, we can here. We'll get it up here. You'll see here where we go. All right, 877-927-6648 if you need to call in. Uh, Al says the lines are really jammed up right now, but if you keep trying, you'll probably get through. You'll see here we did make that. We had the big gap down, and we're going to gap down a little bit today, but not very much. We gapped down substantially last night early. We were down about 50 handles at one time, and then we rallied back. Uh, we still haven't uh, uh, re retraced the whole gap. So if we can if we can get into that gap area, which is around 2812, that would be a, a, a sign. And, and folks, this thing is just flat out bearish. I'm, I'm, I hate to tell you this, but this is a really bearish scenario that we're looking at here. The only thing that's going to change it is if we reverse here today or tomorrow and go back and take out those highs, and then um, then that would mean something. But right now, gee, this looks really bad. And if you look at you know some of the other indices, you know that that really help things moving along, and and that is the you know things like the transportation index and stuff like that. Look at the look at the Dow Jones transportation folks how bearish it is and then you wonder you hear something when you come in on uh, Sunday night uh, or at, right after the Berkshire Hathaway meeting uh, they, they understood that Mr. Berkshire himself uh, um, Warren Buffett had decided to sell all of his airline stocks and he told everybody that after the markets closed on Friday and someone emailed me over the weekend and said why didn't Mr. Buffett tell us he was going to sell those shares ahead of time and I thought about that for a minute and say, oh, well, how do I answer that? And then I finally answered and it says he probably didn't want you to know that he was going to sell them. Hmm, what a strange phenomenon. The one thing about Mr. Buffett, 
and Charlie Munger folks, those dudes are really savvy individuals. They know how to make a buck, and they've been doing it for years and years. So you don't want to fade, you know, Warren Buffett. I followed his career for many years, even when before he was famous, because uh, back in days of um, early days at Drexel, there were quite a few Drexel customers that bought into Berkshire Hathaway. I wasn't smart enough to do that, but uh, and so I followed what they did. And one of my favorites is a few years ago. This is going back oh, 20 years or more. Uh, silver was trading at uh, 14, and uh, Mr. Buffett came out and said that uh, Berkshire Hathaway owned 20% of all the above ground silver in the world. I don't think that was true, but that's what he said. And then when his report came out in the following month for Berkshire Hathaway, guess how much silver Mr. Buffett had? You're right. It topped on the day that he said it, and it dropped about uh, $5 an ounce, back down to about $8, as I recall. But, um, you know, they use this to move their positions, and they have to, because that's just uh, the, way that, the way things go. Carl Icahn is a master of that. Uh, and some of these other guys are too. So be careful when you hear what they're doing. Do you, you remember, folks? Just this was the the, the most classic of all. Was in uh, 2008 when oil was $144 a barrel, and Goldman Sachs came out with their report of the $200 a barrel oil. Oh no! I mean, within 24 hours of the high, and it had a sell-off. It went from uh, 144 all the way down to six or minus $37 a barrel. So it's not what you read, it's what you see. Trade what you see, not what you think, not what you read, not what you hear. You know, see what it's doing and doing that. Market feedback is very, very important. And in regarding market feedback, folks, we had a tremendous market feedback last Thursday when we had all of these numbers come out for, uh, let me get this up here to take a look at it. All of these numbers came out in the uh, for the Facebook, uh, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, all of them were up 10% or more after market on, on that Wednesday. And then on Thursday, the market had topped Wednesday night late. And then on Thursday, the market couldn't even open higher. And then you see it gaps down here on uh, Friday. And now we've got that uh, gap there at uh, that if they gap down today, there'll be another gap. If that doesn't fill, then you're telling the market has given you feedback information that yes, we want to go a little bit lower. So we'll see that. The fact that we gapped below 2,800 last night to me was very, very important. We went back and tagged that area several times, but there should be really strong resistance at 2,815 in the um, S and P here today because we think we're in the midst of a three to five day minimum three to five day move. And if you remember, we had Tim Bost on Friday, and Tim just about guaranteed us that on May the 11th, coming up here in a week from uh, today, we're probably going to be looking at something uh, showing the market's going to be down around 26 and change in this. So that's another thing that we want to pay. Uh, uh, close attention to. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one here. We've got a break coming up. Um, uh, uh, I don't know about the May thing. I, oh, let's move on here. Uh, take a little break. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other tigers and tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, back, folks, and I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about the gold market here. This is a four-hour chart going back at the last six weeks. I just want to point out some of the harmony that's here in the gold, and this is one of the reasons why I don't uh, count Elliott waves. I've always had a difficulty, and John Hill, who taught me that stuff way back in 1970 and 71, also had a difficult time counting the waves. I know guys have these wonderful counts, and I don't understand them. They don't make any sense to me, but this makes sense to me. Look at the bottom that we made down there at 1440, folks. We have a huge rally up. Then we have a beautiful ABCD pattern coming down. But what I want to point out to you on this is look at the time down in the correction. From the top down to that correction down at 1580, that was exactly the same amount of time, uh, 36 240 minute bars. Now, if you go to the high that it made up there at 1788, look at the number of bars to the next low 36 240 minute bars. It makes a high again at 1762 at the 78% retracement. And again, the low that we made on Friday was within two bars of the uh, 36 bars of four minute, char four hour chart. So this is telling you that uh, this has a lot of harmony in this. And it was a buy down there uh, Friday at uh, 1678. We, we pointed that out in the video and now we're having this rally. And if it's bearish, this rally is not gonna extend past 1730. Right now we're trading around 1710, 1711, I believe. But if we can get above 1730, then this has a possibility of finally breaking out to the upside. The problem is we have two wicked stepsisters. Step One is silver, and the other is the is the gold uh, platinum market. Both of those don't look very good. And since we're talking about silver and gold, I wanted to bring this chart uh, to you. It was sent to me by uh, someone from the Elliott Wave Group, and I just want to bring it up and show you the difference here uh, that we're looking at here in silver and gold. This is the biggest. A discrepancy we've had in gold and silver. In other words, silver is trading around 15, gold is trading around $1,700. Okay. Now remember, platinum used to trade at a thousand dollar premium to to uh, to the gold market. A thousand dollar premium. Now it's a thousand dollar discount. That's because you know we're not using uh, combustion engine cars. And from what they tell us now, this coronavirus has a you know really good. Uh, 
a really good side effect, and that is that we're seeing, you know, the smog clear up in many, many places. People are starving, but they still have clean air to breathe, so that's very, very good. <clears throat> Personally, folks, um, let's not. Larry just stepped off his his um, soapbox, for he's not going to talk about anything like that today. So let's move on to something that I basically try to understand, but sometimes I don't. Let's take one look at one other thing that I think happened that is very, very important. Give me a second here. I want to get this up here because it's re related uh, to the euro. And we'll get it up here to take a quick look at it here. And you'll be able to see that uh, this is the euro on the daily. You'll notice on Friday we made a 61% retracement of the secondary March high. We've already backed off 100 pips last night. And if you took the time to look at the newsletter and compare the euro daily versus the uh, dollar index daily, you'll see that the dollar index could not do that on the downside. In other words, it made a double bottom there when the euro was breaking out. That was a divergence, and that was nothing more than a you know a small divergence where the euro was trading more actively than the overall dollar index. But the dollar index is 53% of the euro. So what was happening is there were things in the yen and the pound, the Australian and the Canadian. Canadian were not doing things uh, very much, so that's what made that divergence. The other thing that's important about that is I use time counts when I look at ABCD patterns. If I have an AB, if I have an AB pattern that has seven bars in it, or you know whatever the time frame is, I want that CD to make it a you know make the same number of bars. Now the difference is is that if you get to point C and it explodes out of there, you can almost absolutely 100% not 100% there's nothing 100% is to to expect that that CD leg is going to be a big big expansion of the AB leg it'll be 1.27 or 1.618 I see there David has made some comments about the, the Star Wars movie that came out that didn't get very good reviews uh, believe it or not uh, I saw the original Star Wars movie and uh, back oh my gosh back in the old Drexel days uh, Mike uh, Milken rented the whole theater there to let everybody see it. So I'm just not into that sci-fi stuff. And that's, you might find that hard to believe since Gene Roddenberry was one of my customers at Drexel. But I just, just don't get it. And yet I'm, uh, I really like the Ancient Aliens uh, History Channel. I like to watch that stuff on the, uh, on the geometry of the markets and or geometry of the earth and all that kind of stuff has always been very interesting to me. Now, I've had several questions about the corn market. I want to get this chart up to show you here, folks. This is a uh, weekly. I know Mr. Z is down, is looking for buys in wheat, corn, and beans. Here is the long-term weekly price level going back a year, actually two years. You can see that we have this giant ABCD pattern that's completing down here at around uh, uh, th right around three dollars a bushel, and I think that's going to be close. I'm still waiting for the pattern. I tried to nibble at it a little bit at 325, and quickly they got me out of the farming business as fast as they possibly could, doing that. But I think that we're getting close to some of these commodity prices because uh, they are very oversold. And I want to just give you one other one here that looks really good because, folks, as, as you can just write this down, this is. You see this ABCD pattern that we're seeing here in live cattle prices? Well, cattle prices are going to be going up, and they're going to be going up a lot because uh, the boys have cut back uh, production, and they're getting rid of excess beef now, so prices are really low. But they take, those cows take a long time to make baby cows, and so it's going to be a while before it hits. But when it does, and when it does, it's going to be pretty awesome, so be very careful. You can put a little steaks or, you know, chops or whatever you use, put them in your freezer and you'll save them for a rainy day because they are going to be uh, a lot higher for sure. <clears throat> we'll, we'll move on here. Yes, tofu is soybean meal, uh, Duffy, and that also has gone up in price, but the price of meal itself has been uh, really smashed down. Uh, we'll, we'll bring that to your attention here, but it's been one of the things that has, you know, drug the... Uh, uh, soybean market down so much. Soybean oil has held up relatively well, which is basically cooking oil and paint. But uh, you'll notice here that the uh, the, mar the market on the 
meal was uh, really been hit really bad. And meal is primarily, you know, a feed for cattle and then tofu and all the other things that it's used for. It's pure protein. The soybean is one of the most uh, perfect plants. Uh, it was brought to the United States by Henry Ford because he wanted to have an oil-based paint so that he could add pigment to it and make cars that were other than black. And that's how it all started. And originally, back in the old days in Terre Haute, Indiana, when the farmers uh, planted corn one year, they would plant beans the next year, and then they would till the beans right into the soil because of the nitrogen, because it was more important to get that nitrogen level up for the corn crop than it was for beans. And then as the demand for bean with margarine, you you young people don't know this, but when we first got margarine, it was always white. The the Wisconsin you know people, the the uh, what do you call those dudes, uh, that uh, politicians, they made you add yellow dye to it in order to do that. Yep. That's it. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the uh, 
the soybean oil thing because David is correcting me saying that that's not true, that you could get cars that were uh, other colors early. That's, that's true because they were made with lacquer which is nothing more than ground up insects, as I recall. But when I was in graduate school, which hasn't been too long ago, maybe three or four years, uh, you know, I remember listening to this more than once about Ford and the soybean plant. And because I was living in the soybean country, it had a little bit of interest to me, but I guess I'm wrong, so we'll see. I remember that they wanted it, uh, they wanted soybean oil because it was cheaper and you could, they were starting to make a lot of cars back in the late 30s and that's when they needed the, the uh, coloring. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I remember and I'm sticking to it and I'm probably wrong again, but that's uh, neither here nor there. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Question question is when will I throw in the towel that this is not a, a new bull market when it makes a new high? When it makes a new high, the towel goes in, and that's pretty much it. So that's the way I see it. I don't know. I'm just a little old country boy, you know, just trying to look at patterns. That's all I'm looking at. I stay away from that news stuff. I'll tell you, the more I see of it, it's just absolutely sickening what happens uh, with the news. I mean, it's, it's not only that, but it's here. The only country where you get news that's really fair is in Singapore, because if you publish fake news over there, you get $10,000 fine and a year in jail. Boom, done. You know why they don't have drugs in uh, China, folks? As you walk into China, there's a big sign up there. Like we see, welcome to the United States of America. This one says, you sell drugs here, you die. It's an automatic death penalty. That really cuts back on the drug usage. So we'll see. By the way, uh, this is the, uh, out of the last 11 days, there's been one death in Hong Kong. That means a total of six people, uh, of six, 7.2 million people, six people have died of the coronavirus. This is the same virus that has shut down the world's economy. Think about that for a minute. I am a little suspect. Uh, well, see, I guess my old, my old, uh, what do you call this thing? Uh, my defense mechanisms are kicking in the old conspiracy theory stuff, so we'll be able to see what's moving on here. Okay. All righty, let's move on here and see what we're doing. We just sold off about oh, 10 points in the S&P. Uh, see, we got the gold up at 1714. The bonds are still looking weaker and weaker, folks. I believe that's going to be the next big surprise in the markets. And believe me, all I'm looking at here is when I watch these these longer term patterns and stuff, I'm trying to find the ones that uh, you know at least give me a pretty good spot to. Uh, now I can't get the thing to move up and down to get my charts. Oh, good shot, Larry. This is not good. Uh, this is not good. Uh, shucks. All right. Let me try it one more time to get the bond up here, and I'll be all right. Hold on just as one second. Hey, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. There we go. This is what I think is important in the bonds. Again, this is just this is just patterns, folks. You'll bring this over here. You'll be able to see this. We're up at this 61% retracement again. We have been here for two months, folks. Until we get above, close above that 183 level, it looks to me like the movement in the bonds is to the downside. I know that's hard to think that we could possibly have higher interest rates, but that, in, in fact, is what we could be looking at. I'm not sure, but uh, that's that's neither here nor there. Um, the um, one other one that I wanted to mention here, I wanted to get this to your attention because I think it's really important here, is that fact that we have had such little action in the transportation index and stuff like that. That's very, very bearish you know, to the market because that's how stuff is moving. But, you know, we'll just follow one thing at a time. That's what we're watching. Now, I wanted to spend just a tiny bit of time here in the dollar index because I sent out a video and I had several questions about it. I might as well answer them right now. And this is the uh, this is the daily chart of the dollar index. And I want you to look at the uh, time from around the 30th of March. You'll notice the market rallies up six days. It comes down six days. It rallies up seven days. It comes down seven days. Folks, when you start to see sequences like that, they repeat over and over again. Remember in Dr. Andrew Lowe's book, he says the reason why these patterns work is they repeat with regularity and they are predictable within limits, which proves that the market is not only, you know, uh, non-random, 
okay? And it is chaotic, but within that chaos are non-random patterns, and that's what you're looking for is to find those non-random patterns. Look at the look at the thunderbolt A, B, C, D there that's in the middle of between January and March. All you have to do is to count from the low to the high of the A, B leg, and then count the low, the high of the C, D leg, and you're going to see the G. It went up 18 days, and it came down 18 days, 16 days. So that's uh, that's what you're trying to do is to find some symmetry there that makes the market look like that's what it really wants to do. That's the whole key to uh, seeing what we're watching here. Someone's asked a question about the copper. Uh, copper has held up relatively well uh, uh, during this whole thing. We had a one heck of a rally in copper. And uh, I believe if we'll just get this up here, I got to move over to the futures for just a second. And we'll get the old copper up here. Here we come. And you'll see that we are still uh, trading up. Uh, we're under that 240. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Something just happened. And give me a second here. I hit the wrong button. Boy, that was a disaster. All right. We see we went up to that 382 retracement. Now, this is a weekly. So it's taken six weeks for the market to make a 382 retracement there at 242. If we can get copper above 245, then yes, it could probably have more of a move to the downside uh, to the upside. But right now, I have to be the copper tells me that we still should be bearish, and we want to be able to watch that as we as we look at some of these things unfold here today. So let's be careful. Um, uh, David's saying something here. Oh, it's about Jesse Livermore. Uh, that that's a book that everybody should read. Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. My goodness, I can, you know you know that book. I mean, uh, I've been doing this for sixty years. That book just sets sets next to me every day. I, I refer to it all the time. I mean, it's just amazing all the stuff that's in there. I mean, it's just uh, incredible what the guy really did. You know, and his his uh, really really amazing stuff. All right, they're, now they're chatting about natural gas here in the market. I believe we've started. Uh, Probably a pretty good bullish move here in natural gas. I know it's moving up pretty good uh, today, uh, which is in opposite of what other some of these other commodities are doing. So uh, I believe when we get to that uh, 215 level, that's going to be a really key level to watch because that'll be the determining factor. Now, remember, when we got to 1.75, 1, 1 that was a 135 pattern. Just absolutely perfect. You had a 0.1 down in late March. Point two, a little higher in, on April the 17th, and then on uh, May the, excuse me, on April the 27th, you had another higher high, exactly at the 61% retracement to the tick at 174, and boom, now we're making that ABCD to the upside that should come in around uh, 2.15 is what I would think. So those are the things that... Uh, natural gas is pointing to. Now, there was a cycles uh, seminar over the weekend. And when we come back from the break, I'm going to review uh, some of the things that uh, they talked about. It was very well attended. There were some, uh, uh, quite a few people in that. Uh, and that was just on the first day. Plus, it was being, uh, you know, archived. So if you wanted to see it, all you have to do is to contact Andy Pangoli, and he can certainly tell you how to get to it. It's just uh, cyclesresearch.com or something like that is the place to do it. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, I posted the long-term cycles from China that uh, the foundation talked about uh, Saturday in their webinar. They also brought an interesting one up, which is the uh, virus cycles, because uh, we see these all the time. They're not in the news unless we shut down the nations like we've done here. But you can see here since 1618 that we've had you know many of these uh, pandemics that have happened to us, but nothing where they've shut everything down uh, like that we've done now. That... that that to me is just uh, totally unbelievable here that uh, we can see something like that happen. You know, every day in the United States, 7,500 people die. And unfortunately, that's all part of the old life and death cycle. There's nothing you can do about that, boys and girls. The old man with the sickle is always standing behind you. It's just a question of when God spins that roulette wheel. Whenever she sees your number come up, then she tells the guy, take it out. And that's what you move on to the next stage of your existence, whatever that might be. And if you want to know what that is, send me some cash. It's at 555-5555. Uh, five, 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 and use the promo code 1234. All right, let's move on here to the uh, other thing that I wanted to mention here. This is the, the virus cycles over the last uh, uh, 60 years. These are the ones that uh, we're mainly familiar with, the Hong Kong flu, AIDS, SARS, and now uh, COVID-19. Uh, so those are uh, you know, just a few of them. We did all kinds of cycle work in there, folks. They had some incredible stuff. If you do have an interest in it, we're going to have Andy on again on Thursday because he does his own stuff related to the market, and he's very, very adept. I happen to know him through one of my very dear friends who – got me interested in this, right? I got him interested in it, and he's taking it to a totally different level. But um, this will be really good to see uh, what's going on. Remember, folks, uh, the Federal Reserve can do anything they want. When you look at your bills and, you know, your, your dollar bills, fives, tens, it doesn't say United States of America. It says Federal Reserve note. And it doesn't say, in God we trust. It now says, in God we trusted. So let's see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen if they keep uh, putting out money like this. It's not going to be very, very pretty. I did want to spend just a so tiny little bit of time here on this uh, long-term weekly continuation chart in the CRB index. Let's get this up, uh, move up here. You'll be able to see it. Here we are. You'll see we're sitting there at a possible double bottom here between March and May here in the commodity index. I'm really watching that one closely because if we go below that three, uh, 300 level, that means we've got massive deflation, and that is not going to be uh, very good. Probably 
you know, after we get through this next two weeks to see how these uh, different states open up. And if the death rate isn't too bad, they'll probably start moving towards a, a normal, see where we do herding or whatever that is to get everybody to be uh, careful. Now, I know people at my age are the most uh, to worry about. And uh, our young, our neighbor across the street, who's 94 years old, is absolutely scared to death of it. She actually had her, her daughter come down from New Mexico to take care of her because she was so afraid of uh, catching the virus. And I told her the first thing you do is to start watching Roger Ramjet or uh, – the Three Stooges on the uh, tube instead of watching the news because that's what they're doing is they're instilling fear in people everywhere and that is not a good thing. I thought it was very nice that ex-president Bush came out and uh, you know talked about we're all in this together. We all should try to work together. Well, good luck with that. That's not worked very much because people have different opinions and when uh, people have different opinions, that's when the process lies. I I saw one of the guys saying this was the greatest thing to happen to the United. United States and the rest of the world was coronavirus because you could see the clear air in Be Beijing, you could see the clear air in Hong Kong and New York and all the other places in, in uh, Los Angeles. Well, folks, uh, I know that the, the small can be bad, bad in some of those places, but uh, I'll tell you this, they've heard a lot of people shutting down all these businesses and these little mom and pop places that are probably never reopened. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I don't know. That's my 10-4. Anyway, I appreciate all the calls coming in today. Hope I answered all your questions. We had one other thing that what I wanted to mention to you is we're going to have Dr. David Paul on tomorrow. He's the one to help uh, get Tom Hugard to where he is. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have Storm and Norman from the Winsky Group down there at uh, Astro Trends. And on Thursday, we're going to have Andy Piccoli from uh, Cycles Research over in uh, – it's not Cycles Research, but he'll be on. And uh, then we'll be able to uh, have a, fr a free day on Friday, which will be, thank God, it's Friday. Hopefully we'll all be able to go out to a restaurant uh, pretty soon and we'll move uh, on to that level. I need to check to see what the markets are doing right now, folks. I wanted to see how we're handing up in here. Okay, there we are. Okay, all right. Uh, watch the watch the price of 2820, folks, in the S and P. Because if we should close above that, that would be a very very positive sign. Because that would be nothing more than a um, 382 correction. Oh, uh, th excuse me, a three day correction. Uh, but I, I don't know if it can do that or not. But if it were able to do that, that would be a pretty bullish thing. You know, uh, in in my opinion, so that's it. Um, in order for gold to be bullish, folks, it's got to get about 1727. That was a second question that someone asked me here this morning. So that's another one that we needed to, uh, you know, pay sort of close attention to, to to see uh, what that's going to do. But right now we got the S and P's down about uh, look like down about 30 handles. Uh, we just dropped about, well, we went from 06 all the way down to 86, 89 in a matter of a few uh, heartbeats. And now we're backing and filling here and uh, keep an eye on it. Because remember, that first hour and a half of the day, folks, is what we call amateur hour. That's when all the orders come in. And uh, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, but sort of pay attention to it because it's another part of market uh, feedback that you get that is, uh, you know, pretty important, at least from a technical standpoint, as we as we look at some of these things. The crude oil market, folks, uh, I have spent a lot of time on that crude oil market because, you know, we have broken down through levels that we've not seen before. And I think that the crude oil market is going to be in a situation where we are going to be looking at some really interesting patterns here. And I'm going to bring this up to you because this is the one I'm watching for today. If we do get there today or tomorrow, watch this one. You notice this is the, uh, this is the spot crude. Uh, we're now looking at the June contract. Uh, you can't trade June. You have to trade June and July are off limits for trading, but you can trade August, which is pretty good. And December has got very, very heavy open interest. So December 2020 crude is tradable, but they all have the same pattern. You can see the 135 pattern with the big gap down. Then we had the rally up at 0.3. That's another big move down. And then we had the rally up now coming in another two and a half dollars, a barrel higher. Uh, in that would be in the you'll be watching the August or the December. If you get that, 
uh, you'll be watching that uh, very, very closely. So watch a two and a half dollar rally in oil, and it could be very quick. In other words, it could be that yes, the uh, uh, the Saudis and the Russians have kissed and made up, and uh, Tesla decided not to build any more uh, cars without electricity, and then uh, maybe it'll rally. I don't know. It's just a nice pattern. Pay attention to it. You know, they don't always work, but when they do, it uh, sometimes can be very nice. Whoever thought that we would see crude oil under the price of zero at $37 minus a barrel, but that was an aberration, and that won't happen again, most probably, because the Mer Merck does not want to have that bad uh, stigma on them. So that's it. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, bear with me here one second, folks. We had a question about the natural gas, and I wanted to uh, update it so you'll be able to see it. Here we come, and you'll be able to see what I was talking about here with those higher bottoms in here. That makes that one three five pattern uh, very nice, and you know you can see the sixty one percent retracement there at one seventy four. That gives the price objective, folks, of two point one five. And so this could be the start of a major bull market. If you look at this really closely, folks, if you look at the low on the 23rd of March, uh, 
That's the head. You go back to the low in February. That's the left shoulder. You notice the right shoulder came in here at uh, 175 at the exact same price. That that actually sets up a perfect head and shoulders pattern because the left shoulder and the right shoulder should be equal. And if it's really bullish, the right shoulder would be a little bit higher than the left shoulder. This time, they're perfectly equal. And that tells us that we're most probably getting ready to head to that uh, 215 level, because that is a perfect head and shoulders pattern as defined by Dr. Andrew Lowe in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. It has more formulas in it than there are at NASA. But... Uh, just be a little pragmatic about it. And remember, you'll be able to figure out uh, how to do this. Remember, Lennon and McCartney could not read music, and yet they're the, probably the greatest duo of songwriters in the history of the music, but uh, they could not read music. Just because they couldn't do it didn't mean they understand it. So that's what you try to do. Keep your risks as small as possible, and that's what the patterns do for you. Uh, they are predictable within limits, but they certainly don't work all the time, and you have to take the responsibility you know, for doing these as we do them. So we're going to take a little break here until tomorrow, coming up to the end of the show today, and we'll have Dr. David Paul on tomorrow and of course norm on wednesday and andy piccoli from uk on thursday and maybe we'll have a surprise guest on uh, friday i'll be working on that so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless folks and always try to do something for someone who has a lot less than you because there's a lot of folks out there that are flat out hurting may god bless mm -hmm.